This is an RTV6 update, working for you. Hello, I'm Rafael Sanchez with the latest from RTV6. Schools are in charge of keeping our kids safe all the time. As we continue to bring you stories during Severe Weather Preparedness Week, RTV6's Erin Lish shows us how students are getting prepared in the event of a tornado. To survive one of Mother Nature's most deadly forces, you need to know what to do. That is why you need a safety plan in place at home, work, and school. Teachers and students, at this time, we need to move quickly and quietly to our severe weather shelter location. Students at Riverside Junior High do this tornado drill every semester. When the drill comes on, we'll go out of our rooms. We have to get to the basement. And then we'll go to the area that we're supposed to go. And uh, cover our heads, like our neck, and uh, crouch down close to the wall to uh, protect ourselves. And then wait until the all clear. These drills are looked at and modified if needed after every drill. We're able to look at the speed, the pace, the time, the spacing. Um, traffic flow, we are able to make changes in that plan if we see issues. Staff are being trained and updated with any drill modifications. We have professional development trainings. Uh, we go through those in the fall and then in the spring with our teachers. They teach this to students so they can use these skills outside of the classroom. <laughs> and so having those conversations, knowing the space, knowing where they need to be is very important to keep themselves safe in a situation where maybe a teacher or an adult isn't around. Students doing these drills know how imperative it is to be ready for severe weather. Because no one knows when it's going to happen, so we just have to be prepared for it. Along with tornado drills, the schools conduct fire drills every month and man-made drills quarterly, keeping students prepared for any emergency situation. Erin Lish, RTV6. You can find all of our stories on Severe Preparedness Week on the RTV6 app and the latest weather conditions through the Storm Shield app. And a calm weekend, the first full weekend of spring. We'll have lots of sunshine and 51 Saturday. The change on Sunday, our shower chances will increase. Temperature jumps a little bit to 54. Rain chances will peak late afternoon into the evening and then again overnight Sunday into Monday. Warmest temperatures, at least early on, are Sunday. Temperatures close to the mid 50s. Scattered showers end Monday afternoon. Cool Tuesday, then another warming trend, which will get temperatures back into the 60s by the end of next week. Uh, Kevin, thank you so much, and thank you for joining us.